Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Good, Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with episode two of Ragnar Crimson. Now you're wondering, probably, where the fuck is episode one at? Just know a lot of shit went down and it ended up not getting posted. I literally don't even know where that shit is at anymore. I'm not gonna hold you, but yeah, episode one was a banger, and we're here for episode two. Yes, we man. are a man. We say it all the time. What a time to be an anime fan! But what a time to be a rack and a Crimson fan. Truth be told, I'm not gonna lie. Episode one was really different, kind of a different taste too. Aside from just being long as shit, like. <laughs> Seeing the fucking intro setup and everything that we're probably going to get our feet wet into. I'm not going to lie. I think there's a lot of forward to. Yeah. You know, it really left me thinking how strong this universe could possibly be, given how OP yeah. Ragnar was in that first episode, having the ability of the future and the past at the same time. Seems yeah, pretty OP. like, just to talk about it real quick, since episode one didn't get posted like we were basically talking about how Ragnar's pretty broken off rip now i don't know if he necessarily kept just all of his abilities like that or if he has to somehow find a way to tap into it or if it's going to be like triggered by his future self or whatever the case is going to be but he seems pretty fucking broken yeah, right now. yeah his future self also told his past self that he is the strongest right now like no, like he matches the demon king and he was given that ability to his past self. It's just, can his past self tap into that power, like you said? So, yeah, it's interesting like, to see, see how this journey plays out. See, I will say, like, I think just that aspect, too. I want to really see, because I feel like, by default, he's, like, almost like a vehicle at this point. Like, he just has everything. But... At the same time, it's like, what does that really look like? I guess as you guys were saying, like, I don't know. I feel like that would be very broken if he has full access to, like, everything off rip. Yeah, because then it's like, what is, like, where's the growth at? Same shit. Now you got a walking Saitama. But that's the only thing that's but... kind of worrying. But aside from that, like, the way he got his powers and everything, very Ichigo-esque, like, Everything else fucking gas. So I'm ready to jump into episode two and see where this takes us. Oh, wow, that's fucking crazy. It's like, why he even do that, though? Like, come on, dude. What's the point of even making them cook in the first place? Just eat them. I thought he was just dragging, bro. He's just the back nigga. God, them sounds crazy. This kind of reminds me of Demon Slayer, just like without the whole like, zombie aspect, and just not as funny. Dude, that again, this thing. Ew! What the fuck? <laughs> No fucking Is that all it takes? So it's almost like his ability goes to her and like he shares his ability with her that like anytime she reaches death with a with a dragon that he's just gonna like protect her. With the This shit's tough. There's probably more to it than that, but this is what it seems like. I can't tell if this is eye candy or if he's really moving like that. Nah, he moving like that, gay. <laughs> that nigga gone. <laughs> that nigga gone. 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 Damn, he Naruto. Wait, Shut your bitch ass up. 
Damn. Damn. ね、大丈夫ですか。これからこの国にいる竜を全部狩るんだ。手伝ってくれ。クリムソン。クリム。おお。申し訳ありません。人違いではないでしょう。Is that the girl おっしゃっている意味がわかりません。私の名前はエリザではなくエリスです。お前は竜王クリムソンだ。第一回翼の王。おお。翼の結束の元血師。竜の神を殺そうとした反逆者。おお。おお。お前が。お前が。お前が。
物事の正解が直感で分かってて大人顔負けな状況判断と行動ができて本当に耐性しそうな予感しかなくてだけど子供なんだまだたった12歳の俺が弱くて情けないから必要以上に強くあってくれただけの俺はお前が許せない小さな女の子を英雄とあがめ甘えていた本当に守りたいなら最後まで守り通したいならもう甘えることは許されないレオ初めて会った時言ってくれた言葉覚えてるか君のせいじゃないよ弱いから死ぬの竜より強ければ死なない僕は強いよだから死なない証明してあげる行こう。あの言葉に俺は救われた。レオに会えて本当に良かったって思ってる。Sound like a goodbye to me, gang. There it is. 一緒にはいられない。ダメだよ、ラグナー。それを言ったら僕たちはもう。レオは弱いから。あ？一緒にいても死ぬだけだ。Damn. Oh, that's crazy. No way. That's insane. Sayonara. It's a good thing to do. I'm not going to lie, he's telling it already. As far as I'm not going to lie, seeing her go from what she is now into that is going to be insane. Yeah. Cause she looked fucking insane. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And it's like, I don't think that they're gonna be walking through here. I hope. From what it looks like, it looks like Shepard might be the villain that he just can't meet because he can't access her anymore. Because she's gonna like pull everything back for him.野菜料理にも自信がある。工夫したんだ。レオがあんまり食べないから。掃除洗濯裁縫。家事は全部覚えたんだ。レオの身の回りの世話をするために。今これ何の話？風呂で体を洗うのも俺がやる。服のだって、
And it's like for her to team up with that nigga when she probably seems to be on that nigga's level. What the fuck is probably out there for them for really got me? あの龍が言ってた。この国を滅ぼすって本当なんでしょうか本当だ。今この国にいる龍全部何より率いている翼の龍王を早く狩らないと。冗談ですよね。未来の俺たちはやった。20年以上後のことだ。でも今度はもっ
in terms of staying in the same room, I would say if end of story Leo and end of story Ragnar were to fight, I think Leo's getting shitted on. But I think all of the toughest opponents Ragnar would have to face, Leo can probably be. That's kind of what I see. Or at yeah. least hang with. Yeah, and see, that's kind of where I go back to the whole Bleach situation. Like, the more I'm thinking about it, the more it realistically is, just because it's like, I don't know. Like, we're watching this man watch through dragons. It kind of feels the same way it felt watching each you go watch through the hollows. Like, realistically, there should be some type of serious smoke out there, at least if she's, like, teaming up. Because I'm kind of looking at it as... I feel like this nigga doesn't even need to team up with Crimson to begin with. Yeah, and especially the fact that, like, she was saying, because now she's realizing how broken Ragnar really is with his abilities and everything. The fact that she said mm -hmm. with him arming an entire army with these weapons that are perfect, then we can win. Like, that screams that there's smoke. Yeah, like I'm not gonna lie, that's actually really interesting. I think that just in her naming the families and actually considering help from Ragna, that it's safe to assume that the families are pretty strong themselves, considering she needs like such help. Type shit. Like that's kind of where it just gets interesting. Like I don't necessarily Certainly seeing them just Batman and Robin shit, but at the same time, it's like I can't doubt really, like I really can't see multiple niggas, let alone one dragon nigga, hanging with them at this point. Like I think they're gonna have to start introducing a lot of more. I mean, we did just get the whole names of the six different dragon clans, so I'm sure we're about to really see some real like heads in it. But it's like, yeah. I don't know. That's true. Like, I mean, like you mentioned, it is clan, so it's not going to just be one on ones. It's going to be two v, at least ten. I I hope, or at least six, at least. Yeah, and it's like, you look at the ratio too when you want to just look at how dragons are spawning in the middle, like just by the thousands. I would assume there's probably a good amount of niggas who can bang on that side too. I don't know if they're fucking with Ragnar and Crimson, but that's kind of where I was at the beginning talking about. I don't necessarily think we're getting another Saitama case, but it is a little worrying some. Especially now that it's two of them. Not kind of a little bit worrisome. Yeah, because I was, I was like, when they first said uh, introduce Crimson as like this uh, first seat dragon monarch and shit, I was like, wow, I want to see her get to that point. She's already at that point. She was just playing dumb. So it's like... And, I'm not gonna lie. Having two of these niggas... Knowing that eight... See, I was hoping there was a significant jump from ten to eight. So that it would make a little more sense. Type shit. In terms of like... Mm. Having both. Yeah. But it didn't seem like that big of a jump. Now maybe it's just because... Ragnar's not in that bottom echelon. He's somewhere at the towards the top, obviously. And that's why he spanked 10 and 8 relatively the same. And that's kind of my thing, too. Like, that's too big of a gap. Like, that's kind of... And it's like, like you said, that's literally 8. So it's like, I'm wondering how entirely deep are these factions? Because it's like... If that's really the eighth best nigga that they have to offer, it just feels like that's a final opponent for Leo as she is right now. Yeah, like maybe maybe they catch wind of Ragna and Crimson working together because Ragna's probably going to make a name for himself. Right? I mean, Crimson literally called him Ragna the Reaper. That's probably going to stick. Yeah. I'm thinking like maybe they catch wind of what's going on and all the six bloodlines team up. Like, they squat. And, and shit. Vice versa, do you think Crimson already has a name for herself? Just because, oh, yeah. like, the way how she was talking, so. yeah, like, she seems like uh, she's already yeah, at the, the that thing door. about that is, I don't know if, if she has a name for herself in that timeline yet. 
she's already a monarch. Like you know she's she's like, like in that timeline is, is she a monarch? Yeah. Well, ooh, really? actually, I mean, you see, you see what I'm saying? I, I, what just, man, I see like, what you're saying, like, but it kind of seems like I mean, shit. If she's not, she it like she caught her and she's carrying herself like it, but she also was in that timeline with a disguise too. Like, there's a good chance that she only revealed herself just because, like. Because it kind of seemed like she was just test, Like you were saying, too, like, we were wondering if she already had everything there at first when she was first introduced. Then it was only a matter of time before she revealed herself. Like, you could say she was only holding out just because she was waiting for the right moment to really reveal herself and put her plan into motion. So, and not just that, not just, just that, but, all. like, also, when he said, when he was ta- introducing her as this first C, like... She literally said, oh, he so he just really knows who I am type shit. Not like, what is, yeah, this about a, like, what is this about a monarch? She was like, oh, he knows who I am. Yeah, like, it kind of reminds me of Eminence a little way. Like, how, like, the nigga is literally reincarnated. It's almost as if, like, like we know for the most part they're reincarnates, but... It's literally as if she literally kept all of the knowledge, and it kind of makes me question Ragna well, too. But the thing, the thing about the thing about Crimson is, Crimson never lost her 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 knowledge. Remember, she's like the the queen or whatever of time and like space or some shit. Yeah. So like for her, she never really lost her thing, which is why I'm asking: is she is she known in that timeline yet? Like she's controlling shit from behind the scenes. The way she had command over them dragons, I would assume. So, okay, yeah, you might be right. I think I think she might be known to the dragons, but like, I don't know if she's known to the world yet. Mm, yeah. See, just kind of. I mean, I doubt the world. From what we know, we got to see more of the world too, because the world just got a lot bigger. Like, from what we know, our world a, a whole episode ago was literally just a kingdom with a forest, like. These niggas were getting fucked up by a forest, and we <laughs> thought that was probably like the one of the best amount of smokes they had to offer. Like, I'm kind of looking at it now as like, I don't know. Like, that's a lot of, I don't know. I I kind of agree with that in the sense of like the world not knowing just because the way it seems, if a dragon, I mean, we seen what eight was doing with the forest, like when all that shit. If a dragon monarch pulls up on a city like that, everybody dead. So yeah. it's like, I can kind of see that being the case. But at the end of the day, like, the world did just get a whole hell of a lot bigger. It got a, like, it literally just got wide open. So it's like, I don't know. Like, for the sake of the entire world knowing her, I feel like it's just more of like how aware are you to the entire world with all the dragons in it. Like, just kind of off of that, it kind of makes me wonder what exactly is she then? Like, we know she's the queen, but like, to what extent? Because she's over here bending reality or switching back and forth. Like, I feel like a normal Normal dragon's not supposed to have the ability and opportunity that she has. Is she maybe the, the demon, like, like God or whatever? She want to kill that nigga, so I doubt it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And, like, she's carrying herself as if, like, she's, like, dead-ass ops with that nigga. Like... That's kind of where I'm at. That's kind of interesting. When she was explaining it, she was like, we're going to take down all six bloodlines and then slay God. And then when it's done, you're going to slay me. Like, that's literally word for word what she said. A lot. Like, could you I'm potentially low. see her, like, trying to become the next dragon god? And just I think uh, Ragna to, like, help her get there? I think she dead ass. Like, yeah, honestly, yeah. Like, I think she probably dead ass belongs in the same like not even and a large part of that has to do with the biggest difference. I mean, I was gonna say the biggest difference between her and Ragma is that Ragma needs to still 
he still has shit to learn. But from what we're saying, it's just all a mentality thing. So looking at Crimson, I'm kind of thinking like she might dead ass be in the same room as the Dragon King or Dragon God, if you will. Like, I think there may be a chance for the only difference between her and that nigga is the tools that one has and the tools that she doesn't. Like, that may be it for real, for real. She may not just be able to, like, really hold her own to the power. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping it's a little more than that, but I you could be right in that sense. Like, I, I do see that. I'm just hoping it's a little I'm, more for the sake of the show. I'm, but, I'm hoping more, too. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Hey, man, I'm not going to lie, though. Like, this episode really came with it. It really cracked the barrel open, too, for when you look at just all the new world-building shit to take. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm still soaking in all the information. I say it all the time. All information is golden information, but this one was kind of different. Hell yeah. And also, like, when Ragna split up from Leo, like, first things first, that nigga blocked her shit with a finger. I was like, damn, that's, like, he ain't had to, he could have just dodged it or something. He ain't had to demoralize it like that. I mean, to be, to his point, like, that is kind of the point he was trying to prove, but damn, nigga, like, like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and like that's kind of my thing too. Like, I really think she had an entire forty-minute episode to herself. Like, I know a large part of it was most likely to set up this nigga's goal, but I don't think it was just as like just for that. Especially the way they went about it. Like, I feel like she's not just backstory material. Like. I really do think there's a good chance we get two stories. I do too. I I think she dead ass got a villain origin story, but obviously she's not gonna be a villain. Yeah, like shit. Like I I definitely yeah. like. I think it'd be a fumble if they didn't. I, yeah, I, I'm right I, here with you. I I could. Uh, I don't know. I could potentially somehow see her trying to become the next demon. I mean, dragon god after. Everything said. Cool, Leo? Time. No, oh no, not Leo. I thought we were talking about Crimson. Oh, Crimson? Yeah. No, I don't see Leo being a villain at all. No. She seems oh, so yeah. cute and kind hearted. Nah, yeah. I, mean, I, think, yeah. I think that's the only thing that's keeping uh, Ragnar going. Shit. That's, well, that, that, that's Ragnar's Casca, if you will. Yeah. 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 But. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. Episode 2, low-key, maybe even high-key, for me was... I don't want to say it was just straight-up better, because that was 40 minutes. Oh, it was. Minutes, it, no, it was. But, it was. It was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. If I had to rate this episode, like, I'd probably have to give it a 10. I'm not going to hold you. I'm giving it... Like, like this, this I don't was think... Much, I, well, I'm not going to... I'm not going to jump the gun and say much better, but it was a better episode. I'm giving this a 10, too. Like, like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Everything from start to finish, I think that shit was really fire. Hell yeah. Like, they answered a lot of my questions that I had coming into this. Like, because I didn't really know what we were about to see here. I also didn't know where the Crimson... I didn't know if Crimson was an ability Ragnar had or what the case was. Turns out, yeah. I was dead fucking off. Like, but it, in a good way, though, because this is fire. Yeah. I'm I'm liking the direction Say this well. is heading in. But, hey man, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button for Ragnar Christmas and hit that like button for us. Make sure you guys hit that bigger subscribe button as well and turn on post notifications so you don't miss episode three. You know we gonna be on that. You feel me? Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. Hey man, make sure you guys click on our description as well. Two links we waiting for you. One will take you to all of our socials, Sons of Tokyo on every platform. The other one will take you to our Discord. Make sure you guys join that. Come vibe out with us. You feel me? But, uh, yeah, man. With that being said, S-O-T-O. Peace out, y'all. Yeah.